Um, today's date is the 30th of January 2020 and the day before Brexit day. Whoa, 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 whoa. How's the hair looking? Good, good, good. Uh, got a bit of a sore throat. <laughs> um, yeah, I just thought I'd have a, a little bit of an update. I'm going to have an update tomorrow on Brexit day because I think it'll be a monumental day. So I did say when Brexit was supposedly coming out, um, March last year, I said it was the day the country died because I thought that the snowflakes were going to get it and get their way. Well, they didn't. They lost a monumental election again. Um, I won't go into the history of all that because that's well documented, but Boris Johnson man managed to stole the, uh, the heartlands of the Labour seats up here in the north the red wall as they called it and the fact that Tories would get voted in um, in any of it bowls over, Mansfield where, where where I live, it was unheard of back in the day so Alfie Harry if you're watching this sharpen up your pencils, take a few notes here's the prediction right okay, I've, I've been thinking a lot today, yesterday, this week recently since Christmas, I've been doing dry January, I've not had a drink now for uh, I didn't have a drink actually on uh, December the 30th, so today's January the 30th, so over a month. I did have a drink on New Year's Eve, which is a little one. Um, but I technically say the last drink I had was December the 29th. So I've got a clear head, clear mind, clean soul. So I've been thinking there's more and more people populating the world. Uh, the UK is a tiny little island, but there's more and more people. Everybody's moaning that the infrastructure for hotel schools can't cope, so let's build more schools, more hotels, more roads, better roads, bigger roads, improve the nail network. Nobody's actually looking at the elephant in the room, there is too many people. I'm not gonna go down that, that's another rant that I've already ranted about anyway. But with technology catching up like it is, I've been thinking a lot about my laser business, thinking hopefully it's future-proof because people will always want tattoos removing. Health and safety that I do, I do my consultancy, that's going to be around for a bit yet, so it probably should see me hopefully through to my retirement, time will tell. But enough about me, it's not about me, it's about you, Ari and Alfie, and your kids. Um, automation is becoming everywhere, we've now, um, we've now tested and piloted driverless cars in London and it's gone with quite a big success. We've piloted driverless lorries, and we've also piloted with success delivery by drone. In the future, this will be the norm to you guys. I don't know how old you'll be listening to this, but this will be the norm. I mean, this is like futuristic space space stuff, this is. It's like from the future, man. Sci-fi. Um, but the fact that they're piloting it, and they're testing it, and the results have come back, and it's going to be the future. So there's going to be less and less jobs. There's going to be no driver jobs. Who's going to want to employ drivers when they're going to want time off, paternity leave, paternity leave, sick leave, holiday pay? Get a driverless car, driverless lorry, driverless taxis, delivery service, everything, all driverless. Amazon, massive employer at the minute, everybody buys everything off Amazon, including me, unfortunately, and I'm not proud of that. But you can order at nine o'clock at night, and it'd be delivered to your door in the morning. The convenience and the price, and I'm embarrassed that, that I fell into that one. I try not to, and I try to give local businesses my money, um, anyway, that's Amazon. But they've piloted automated ser picking services. Now, if you can get if you can get automated picking services, an automated drivers and automated delivery, where's the jobs? Very, very few. So I'm wrapping this up now because we're on four minutes, and I do try and only do three minute ones. Um, but the future is very, very grim for for jobs. We're going to have more and more demand for jobs because there's more and more people in the world and yet because of automation there's going to be less and less of them scary stuff in it so what will happen is there'll be a revolution people will rise up they won't be happy they're cutting back on social services so if you haven't got a job there's not much money for you now just to try and look for a job people start blaming the immigrants it's not the immigrants fault they've come over here for whatever reason again you know my feelings on that i'm not anti-immigration i've got some great great friends that are from all over the world. So in fact, some of my best friends are from all over the world. So don't ever, ever, ever let anybody accuse me of ever being a racist. Absolutely the opposite. I've probably, in fact, I've probably got more friends that aren't from the UK than probably most of these people who 
go around pointing on the finger calling people racist. So that's bullshit. And, and most people I know, I work for Indian guys, I've lived with Sri Lankans, I've worked for the Poles, I've worked for Romanians, the list goes on, it's endless. And they are actually incredibly down to earth and say the things that we're saying right now, but say more of it more often because they don't get the finger pointed and being called racists. So uh, don't let anybody call you that one, um, just by stating the absolute obvious. But people will rise up and they'll start blaming people. And there is no social security money, so there's going to be issues, there's going to be problems, and the wrong people are going to get blamed. And it was all down to the politicians. Remember this, right, five minutes, this is my longest one ever, isn't it? So don't take, don't let anybody take it out of people. I mean, Alfie and Harry, I mean, I'm talking to you guys, and you're not, you're not personally going to take it out of anybody, I know that. It's not in your natures. But, you know, when you're standing forward and you've got things to say, just remember these words. The politicians created this mess. I went to see the film 1917 the other day. My next run tomorrow might be about that. And how that, what happened then has impacted today. Interesting story. Peace out.